Hi guys, so it's time for another kind of battle of the blender situation. I have been curious about these little kind of microfiber fuzzy guys for ages and I picked up four on Amazon. They are currently showing as £9.66. They are Prime eligible and they actually, whoop, they actually came individually wrapped like this, which I think is actually really nice. Um, like they were still easy to get to, but you know, it, it felt like they hadn't just been like, you know, manhandled constantly in a warehouse and whatever. Um, goo -goo -goo. And just to give you an idea of the size, um, this is a completely dry one. And this is a one that I dampened quite a while ago now actually. Um, but yeah, so they do definitely increase in size and they are delightfully squishy. So I have done half my face with my beauty blender, half my face with uh, this guy, the microfiber velvet makeup sponge dual layer technology flawless makeup blender for foundations, powders and creams. Whew. Right. So we will see how that went. Right. So I've got my two sponges here. Bizarrely, this one has a little hole in its in its bottom. But anyway, um, <clears throat> let's get out some foundations. I'm going to try and get roughly the same amount for each one to play with. And yes, I'm classy. I open stuff with my teeth um, because. When these blenders first came out, the fuzzy ones, part of the boast was that they would absorb less than the beauty blender would. So I want to see how far the same amount of foundation goes with each blender. It's not going to be scientific because I'm judging this by eye. Um, unfortunately, this isn't a foundation that comes in like a, a pump bottle, um, which would have made this so much easier because I would just do like a full pump for each. Um, also, I'm finding it really hard to judge how much foundation I need when it's in two piles rather than one, which it shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> but anyway, here's my two little blobs. This one's taller, this one's wider, so they're roughly the same, I hope. I've already primed my face. Um, I'm going to do the right side of my face with the fuzzy one because the right side is just always my testing side. Um, ignore the massive spot on my nose, please. I'd love to ignore it. It's getting, it's getting horrible, but I'm going to try and ignore it. So I don't know what side to start with because I normally use the round bottom end of the Beauty Blender, which this doesn't have. Um, oh well, I suppose we'll go in with the, we'll go in with that bit. So I don't want to go like switching around the side I'm using too much because that's going to end up with a lot of foundation getting kind of picked up and wasted. So I don't want to do that. Um, so this is going on nice. It does feel really velvety and soft. Um, so, you know, in terms of like an actual sensation experience thing I'm enjoying this which sounds really strange now that I've said it out loud um but yeah I was kind of hoping that this was going to work out because I mean I've bought four of the things um and also I'm going to be doing some other people's makeup next week so it would be handy to have a couple of sponges that worked out Unlike the mermaid one, which, check that out if you haven't seen it, um, that was my last attempt at buying a makeup sponge on Amazon. So, I just want a tiny bit more around here. But yeah, that's went on really nice and smooth. There is a little bit of foundation left on my palette. Um, so let's see how the beauty blender does in comparison. So I've always liked the beauty blender, but like it's not my go-to. My go-to is a brush because it's just easier because I don't have to get up and wet it and things like that. Um, but you know, when I use a beauty blender, I enjoy it. But actually, I think I like the feeling of the fuzzy one a bit more.
in terms of like finish and coverage, um, the Beauty Blender does give a higher coverage, but the other one actually looks more natural um, in terms of the finish it's achieved. So, and you know, the coverage isn't bad. Um, in fact, in terms of like the pigment in my skin and stuff, I think it's covered the same. Um, it's just left with a more natural finish, which is a nice thing. So, right. So, maybe, maybe use a tiny bit more with the Beauty Blender. Hard to say. It's, there's not much in it and I might not have been 100% accurate just doling it out anyway. So let's have a play with correctors and concealers. So I'm still using my Premark correcting fluid under my eyes. I just still like the next one, it's just I literally am just using that one because it's there. Um, so you can, you can see like where the foundation went in, it hasn't really like spread much. Um, so there's that. So I'm going a little bit closer to the, the tip of it for getting in under my eye. And again, this feels so nice. This is weird that I'm enjoying this. And then... Oh, Beauty Blender, you've misbehaved. How could you? You've never done this to me before, look. I just swiped my foundation right back off the side of my nose. Glad I still had some left on my palette. <laughs> Fix that. Okay. And then concealer, we're going to go in with the fast base, um, no, matte base concealer from Revolution. And this is a kind of stick formula rather than a cream, so we'll see how it does with that. Um, and I do use this on my eyes, but what I do is I put it on kind of down here around the cheekbone and then blend up with my brush or my sponge, whatever I'm using. Because if I started like actually rubbing that up under my eye, that wouldn't be the greatest thing for like the skin there because it is thin and delicate and then that better be enough concealer to conceal that that thing we've got going on on my nose uh, da -na -na, da -na 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 -na. so I'm still using this curvy side because it just seems more sensible because you know my face isn't flat so I'm not going to use that flat face bit Um, the point on it is neat enough to get in around the piercing, which is good. I've decided now I quite like the flat sides in terms of when I'm working on this, it's not wiping against the side of my nose, and then when I'm doing the side of my nose, it's not wiping against my cheek, so that's quite nice. And. Do -do 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 -do. That spot's going nowhere today. Okay. Oh, I should have concealed that too. Anyway. Sometimes I don't know why I bother putting foundation on my forehead because I basically conceal the entire thing. I just I just wanted to go away. Um Yeah, so that's blended out nicely. It's weird. That one feels drier than my Beauty Blender, even though I actually wet it after the Beauty Blender. And it's giving me the more natural coverage, you know, as if it's being sheared out a bit more. 
So that's interesting. That's definitely something about the, you know, the texture of it. Now that it's came to the concealer, I'm going to zoom you in so that you can see what I'm talking about a lot clearer. So, I would say coming to the concealer, it's actually left way better coverage, which is very, very evident on my forehead. Um, I'm going to give this a quick squeeze out in some tissue paper, the beauty blender that is, um, just in case it's just to do with how damp it is. Um, so, you know, we'll give it, we'll give it a second shot because we do like the Beauty Blender, we don't want to be harsh on it. Maybe I just didn't squeeze it as much as normal. So. so I mean, that's a bit better. You can't quite see on camera. I don't think, but there is slightly better coverage on this side to this side. So let's try my under eye as well. Hmm. Hmm. Have we found a one that gives much better coverage? Interesting. I mean, you know, hallelujah, if I have found another cheap one that does significantly better. Because that definitely looks like coverage level is different. Just in case it's my skin on this side being a pest. And just deciding, you know, it's makeup phobic and it's going to repel it. Do, do, do. Okay, so I'd say the nose and the forehead now look more even. The under eye, not quite so much, so possibly that's just been the colour correction phase. Um, this guy has gave better coverage with as well. So we don't have that same base to work from. But at the moment, I'm preferring this guy to my beauty blender. And it still feels nicer. So one last little test. So I have been known to use my beauty blender to, to bake. So we're going to see how it works with that. I'm very interested to see how this picks up powder. Um, I've got a feeling it's actually going to pick it up better than the Beauty Blender because of the little fuzzy bits. Um, I mean, it's basically almost a sponge with tiny brush bristles all over it, like a hybrid. And yeah, I'm just dipping out way too much powder because it's summer in Scotland and I'm oily skinned. I'm also a very warm person, so I sweat like crazy, so powder is my friend. So, Beauty Blender picks it up it down. This guy definitely, definitely picks it up and puts down a little bit more. Nice. <laughs> These are all my oil hot spots that I'm hitting by the way, if Andy's wondering. So. Right. So, ooh, that powder looks a bit more coloured when it gets wet. That's interesting. I haven't really used it to bake much. And I can taste it in the air. Oh, yummy. Okay. So, I'm not going to leave it for long, mainly because I want to go on with this video and get on with my day. So, I'm just going to kind of dust off under there. Yeah, I mean, you look fairly even there. Okay. 
And then I just go in with a big fluffy brush. This one's so pretty. I kind of blend out the rest with a little bit of extra powder too. <laughs> that thing on my nose is going to bug me. So, they look fairly similar now that we're done, but then I did kind of slightly touch up this with the fuzzy side anyway, so it's probably good that I look even. But at the moment I am going to say that based on price, the feeling, the better coverage, I am loving this guy a little bit more than this. So if you've got any questions, please let me know. I will link this down below. Um, I bought the pack of four because it just seemed sensible in case it worked out. And yeah, I will catch you guys on the next one. If you've got any questions, leave them down below and I will do my best to get back to you. Bye.